Is your computer running slow because it uses a hard drive and you wish to change to an SSD? Don't worry no more. In this video, I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you all that you need to do. Just follow me to the end. Hello, my name is Saforo and welcome back again to my channel. If your laptop or PC uses a hard drive and you wish to change to an SSD, that is solid state drive, then what usually happens is that you have to reinstall everything. I mean, you have to reinstall your Windows, your drivers and other applications onto your new SSD before you can use it. This is somehow stressful and time consuming. But don't worry, I have the best and easiest solution for you. I hereby present you with an amazing tool that will allow you to clone or migrate your Windows and all of its applications and data onto your new drive without having to reinstall anything. This is one of the applications from Azure's company, namely this copy. I'll leave the link in the description below. Besides being able to use this tool to migrate your Windows, you can also use this tool to backup and restore your Windows and all of its applications installed on it so that later if your Windows gets corrupted, you can just restore it using the backup you created. These two also have other amazing features and I will demonstrate that in this tutorial as well. So first of all, let's use this tool to migrate our Windows and all of its applications from an old drive to a new SSD. So let's proceed. But before that, I also want you to know that you can copy or clone your hard drive to NVMe SSD or hard drive to SATA SSD with the same application. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we will migrate our Windows and all of its applications from an old drive to a new SATA SSD. To begin, we will need the SATA SSD, a SATA external drive enclosure, or any SATA to USB converter. And finally, we'll need a screwdriver to disassemble and replace the drive. Don't worry, this is not complicated. You can easily do this. So I'll quickly connect my SSD to the external drive enclosure. From there, you will need to download the Isus Disk application. The link will be in the description below. So when I come to the Isus website, you can see they provide a wide range of tools such as data recovery tools, partition tools, backup tools, and many others. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we will focus on this copy. So from here, you click on free trial to download and install the software. And from there, you can choose your package. If you wish to use this application only for a couple of times in a month, then this monthly package is best for you. But if you would like to use this application for more than a year, then I'll suggest you go for the lifetime package. This is for a single computer and with a lifetime upgrade, I'll suggest you go for this if you have the budget. So from there, I'll connect my new drive to my computer. And then from there, I'll open the application from the desktop. Now you get this interface with these features. The disk mode, system mode, partition mode, create bootable disk, and batch mode. The disk mode will allow you to make an exact copy of your internal drive and all of its partitions to your new drive, in my case, is the new SSD. This means that you are going to get a duplicate or the same drive as your internal drive. For the system mode, this will copy only your drive C with your Windows operating system and all of its applications and data onto your new drive. This is very helpful when your new drive is smaller than your internal drive and you still wish to copy your Windows and all of its data and application to your new drive. For an example, you can see my new drive which is Dex1 is smaller than my internal drive Dex0. If Dex0 has additional partitions with more data that cannot be accommodated on Dex1, then I can use system mode to copy only the Windows operating system along with all of its files onto my Dex1. The other data partitions can be copied later after the cloning process is completed. So here you can see the disk capacity that you require to copy your Windows and its data to your new drive in this circumstance. For partition mode, simply choose the partition you want to clone and easily copy it to another drive. This feature also allows you to only clone exclusively your Windows drive C, drive D or any other drive. 
The Create Bootable Disk feature allows you to create an emergency flash drive that can be used to boot your computer and clone any drives without relying on your standard Windows operating system. This process will produce a bootable disk, enabling you to clone your drive without any interruption caused by other applications. Now, let me give you a demonstration. I created an emergency bootable USB flash drive and currently booting from it. Now, you can see the disk mode and the partition mode. With this, you can perform all the disk cloning functions in case you are experiencing any Windows error interruptions in the cloning process. So with all that being said, let's us proceed to create an exact duplicate of my system drive along with all of its partitions onto the new SSD. So first of all, I will click on disk mode. Then select my source drive, which is the disk 0. Then click next. Then I will choose my destination drive, which is the disk 1. Here, you can see the source drive is bigger than the destination drive. This will work in my case where the data in the source drive is smaller and can fit into the destination drive. So here I'll click next. So here I can see the graphical representation of both the source drive and the destination drive as identical. So I'll click proceed. Then continue. After that the cloning process has begun and this will take some time depending on the amount of data you are cloning so please be patient. After the process is completed you will get this information that you have cloned to a USB drive. Do you want to boot this system disk from the USB drive? Here I will click no and finally click finish. Now, I will go to my drives and check. You can see duplicates of my partitions. This means that I can replace the SSD with my internal drive. Follow me in this guide. I have successfully replaced the hard drive with a solid state drive and now ready for testing. As you can see, the system is operating at a significantly faster speed. This demonstrates the benefit of upgrading from a traditional hard drive to an SSD. The process is quite straightforward when utilizing the Ease as Disk Copy application. I will leave the link in the description below. So that's all for this tutorial. Please kindly click on the like button and subscribe for more amazing tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.